Hey guys, let's talk about hoods and lenses. Let's go. Woo! So, in my truck, I've got two pancakes. This is my old one. It's just, it's really worn out and beat up. It still works. This is my newer one. And this is one that I use when the sun's not too bad and I have a lot of rollouts to do. Now, what's the difference in all these? It's not, these are Sarge pancakes. It's what I've always used and it's what I like. Um, a few things before we get to the regular hood because there's a trick I can show you with that that might help your neck. <clears throat> so I gotta change that lens out. It's actually blinking. I don't know why that is. I got a question on why you take that tab off, what what kind of lens and hood and all that stuff. Well, there's a trick right there. You see that little piece of rubber? If you don't put something in there to keep that tight, this lens will slide over and you will get BBs all over this. And that is a bummer because these are like a hundred bucks. I use the cheap ones. They work fine. Um, somebody asked me what <laughs> what shade I use, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's 10. This is a Amerarch. 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 Uh, shade 10. And it's just an El Cheapo, guys. It's, you don't, I don't have different settings. I don't need any of that stuff. I just need something to make it dark. <laughs> And you can use, now look, speaking of dark lenses, a lot of you young guys think it's important to learn how to weld first with the dark lens. Well, I would advise against that because you need all the help you can get. Uh, you're more than likely gonna get more arc burns with a dark lens. And if you have a dark lens and that's all you have, and you're having trouble with arc burns because you put your hood down and you <laughs> You start getting arc burns on this pipe and the inspector is going to crap gold monkeys. <laughs> They're gonna freak out. I don't know if it does anything to the pipe or not. They say it does. It doesn't seem like it. I've seen people gouge holes in it, weld it up, grind it off, and nobody knew any different, and it's still flowing gas today. Now, uh, wasn't me, of course. <laughs> but you're gonna need all the help you can get. So get you a dark, uh, uh, auto darkening lens. And as far as I know, there's a there's a singles 240 in this one, and it's also a, I think it's a shade nine, probably a ten. Most of them are a ten. And this is a Miller Miller. I don't know if you can see it in there. I buy the cheap ones because it doesn't matter, and they last a long time. So. Uh, about a shade 10, that, that covers everything. And if you want something different, use something different. Now, let's move on to this hood. And the only reason I carry this hood, I prefer a pancake 99% of the time, especially if the sun's out. That pancake fits like a mask and it doesn't let the sun get behind you because it screws up everything. If you can't see, you're pretty much screwed welding. And uh, speaking of seeing, cheaters. If you've got to have a cheater, use it. If you don't absolutely have to have one, don't mess with it. It, it. I thought I could use one because I could see better, but I think it screws with your eyes. I think it, you know, you've got to be like right here. If you get too far away, it screws up. If you get too close, it screws up. Uh, so just let your eyes do the work and don't use a cheater unless you have to. If you have to, more power to you. But just so you know, you've got to get a different pancake if you're going to get, use a cheater. It has a bigger gap in there to allow for about a quarter inch cheater to slide in. Now, tips with this hood and why I use it. It's got an adjustment right here. You can move that around and it will, it will let this hood it's not set right right now it'll let it go down more. I went the wrong damn way. There we go. 
see how I can not have to bend my neck so much. I can look down with my neck straight. Because when you're rolling out all day, we do a lot of rollouts. Well, you see us rolling out stuff all the time because it is so fast. You can really pile the metal in there and you can even have little holes in the bead in that hot pass. You put a five millimeter on top of it and turn it up and it'll push it in and fill it in and it just makes everything awesome. You can leave trash in it and it'll boil it out. So when you're welding out all day long and you're using this thing, which is straight, you have to bend your neck all the way down to roll out. Whereas this unit, you saw me, you can pretty much be standing straight up, just a little tilt and look, point your eyes down, you know? That's the only reason I use this. And if it's sunny, I just let my neck take a beating because I hate sun behind me. Now, that probably covers it on dark lenses. Um, I think that's it. What, what am I missing? I remember what I forgot. I don't talk about eye safety much, but if you can't see, you're not gonna be able to weld very good. And a welder's only got so long, his eyes are good, normally. Now, I can see my fingerprints from here to here. I mean, I can see really good, thank God. But I, I learned something a long time ago, a good friend of mine named Wayno. if you're watching the video, thanks brother, he actually let me borrow his beveling machine when I was breaking out. And I got, you know, I just started beveling pipe. He was nice enough to do that. And I don't know of too many people that would do that. And that kind of, that kind of welder is hard to find. And that's the kind of welder I want to be. And I want all of you guys to be too. Try to help each other and try to help each other get going. But before I get too far off track, he taught me never cut without a dark pair of glasses. And I don't mean those green ones that are so dark you can't see what you're doing. I mean... These, you see you wearing them all the time. Nemesis, it doesn't have to be these. They just gotta be dark glasses, good and dark, not light. Um, what'll happen is when you're cutting with a cutting torch, that it's like a slow burn. You know, it will cook your eyes, it's kinda like an oven. You know, you can stick your arm in an oven at 350 and be fine. But if you leave it in there, it's gonna be a problem. That's kind of the way it is. Now, a welding rod will just flash burn you like that, and you'll know, oh, I can't do that anymore. You'll see spots. Well, a torch will do that on a whole different level really slow, and you might not notice it, and that is a really good way to beat your eyes up early in life, and you're going to pay for all the things you did when you were young when you get older. <laughs> so that's just a quick tip. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. And as always, the gripes and complaints, write them down, roll them up, and stick them. Y'all have an awesome day. Later.